This is Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com. Hello and welcome to Six Minute English from BBC Learning English. I'm Rob and with me is Finn. Hello, Finn. Finn, Finn, are you okay? <laughs> Forty-nine seconds. I was, I was just holding my breath, right. Rob. Okay, is this a, a new hobby of yours? <laughs> well, actually, today. We're we're talking about people living underwater, so well, I thought I could do with some practice. <laughs> okay, well, why don't you get your breath back now? Good, yes, good idea. Today we'll be hearing about scientists who broke the world record for the time spent underwater. They spent an incredible thirty-one days under the waves, and we'll be learning some related vocabulary too. Right, are you ready now, Finn? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And are you ready, Rob, for this week's question? Yes, hit me with it. This week's question is: What is the longest time a human being has held their breath underwater? Is it A, twelve minutes, B, eighteen minutes, or C, twenty-two minutes? Goodness. Well, it's a long duration, all of them.、Um, I'm going to go for、uh, the middle one, B, eighteen minutes. Eighteen minutes,、mm -hmm. good guess.、Um, I'll tell you if you're right or wrong at the end of the program. But Rob,、mm -hmm. don't hold your breath. <laughs> Very good. Don't hold your breath. A phrase which means don't expect that a particular good thing will happen.、Mm. Anyway, what about these scientists? Did they hold their breath for thirty-one days? No,、um, but they did live underwater. In a laboratory. Now that's a room or building with scientific equipment in it for doing tests. Right. Well, one of the men was Fabian Cousteau, who's an oceanographer, someone who studies the oceans. He's the grandson of Jacques Cousteau, a French man who held the previous record of 30 days underwater. Fabian said he wanted to break his grandfather's record to raise awareness of ocean conservation. Now that's protecting and looking after the ocean. Well, he's raised our awareness at least. He has indeed. Now I'm interested in how they lived underwater. Listen to Fabian talking about the laboratory called Aquarius. Which word does he use to say that the lab is completely underwater? Aquarius is very unique in that it's the only undersea marine laboratory. It gives us a unique platform from which to live and explore this final frontier on our planet. He called it an undersea laboratory. Now, undersea is, as you might guess, a word similar to underwater, and it means under the sea.、Mm, and、yes. he called <laughs> this undersea world the final frontier. It's an interesting phrase. It comes from the Star Trek television series, which called space the final frontier, the last place that humans have not yet travelled to, the last place to explore. Yes, and apparently this laboratory was 18 meters under the sea in Florida. And being there allowed them to spend less time diving, and more time observing marine life. Okay, marine life. So that means of the sea.、Mm. So marine life means sea life, plants, and animals that live in the sea. They were particularly interested in investigating the effects of pollution on coral. Now. I know they did this to raise awareness of marine conservation, but yeah, what I'm really interested in is what life was like for them. What was it like to live underwater for so long?、Mm, good question. Well, surprisingly, perhaps life there wasn't too bad. They had air conditioning, hot water, and internet access.、That、sounds very comfortable, doesn't、mm. it? Although I do know that Fabien struggled with one aspect. Now, listen to him to find out what. Unfortunately for me, as a French person,、uh, the food will also be simulated: freeze-dried, astronaut type of food, canned foods, things like that. So it's a horror show for me. Ah, poor Fabian. He said the food was pretty awful.、Mm. Maybe it was English food. Yeah, probably. <laughs> as a Frenchman, he he wasn't impressed by the freeze-dried food. Now that means food which is quickly frozen and dried to preserve it. Yes, he thought it was 
astronaut-style food, mm. the sort of food you would eat as an astronaut, someone who travels into space. Now, and coming back to dry land, they had to spend 16 hours decompressing. Yes, that's very important. Divers have to decompress to return to their original body pressure when they come out of the water. It sounds like a long time to wait for a good meal. Uh, so, Rob, what do you think? Would you like to live underwater for a month? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, I not get at all. very claustrophobic. I not hate even those sort of spaces. The astronaut food. Um, so, anyway, let's see if you got this week's question right. I asked you what you thought the world record for holding your breath for underwater was. And I went for 18 minutes. And actually, it was even longer than that. Wow. 22 minutes, zero seconds, uh, by a chap called Stig Severinsen, who's from Denmark. And uh, Stig was allowed to hyperventilate, so to breathe very fast and deeply, using oxygen before the attempt. Um, so I think don't try this at home, no. anyone. That brings us to the end of today's Six Minute English. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed today's underwater programme. And uh, please join us again soon. Bye. Bye-bye. That was Six Minute English from bbclearningenglish.com.